Hello traders, my name is Gregor Horat and welcome to a new video analysis in which we will take a look on the Euro Dollar, Dollar Swiss, Dollar Yen and Gold. On Euro Dollar we identified a 5 wave of decline from January highs which means that the trend is bearish. In fact, a recovery uh, since April is uh, very slow, very choppy, very overlapping. Uh, it cannot be counted impulsively at the moment. I can also see some very uh, choppy price action um, from the last few weeks uh, so I think that this recovery represents a counter trend movement uh, that is part of a larger up uh, downtrend okay so I will continue uh, to expect um, a new sell-off from here uh, as long the market is trading of course below this level because we know that any corrective recovery corrective pullback must not retrace more than 100% of the previous impulsive wave which in our case was this five waves down okay so uh, i'm ready for a reversal we are tracking here a flat uh, correction we know that flat is a free free five pattern this was a free wave move in wave a this was then another free wave move in wave b which was uh, also flat and now we are tracking wave c wave c has spiked higher here as we can see uh, so uh, I think that um, we are at very interesting zone um, and also uh, we're at very interesting time okay we are trading now here sideways for a few months so the next move I think will be very strong and I suspect this move will be to the downside um, on the weekly chart here uh, sorry firstly we need to check also the four hour chart uh, here's our four hour chart where we identified this diagonal pattern in wave c this was wave one wave two um, this was also an overlap in between wave four and wave two which is allowed in ending diagonals okay uh, and then we had a nice push higher in wave five which uh, reversed from this um, upper side of this pattern okay uh, we can see a nice uh, impulsive sell-off and now this recovery appears to be corrective uh, so i anticipate a new lag to the downside on the euro dollar either this move will be only in three waves as a corrective pullback or maybe start of a new larger impulsive sell-off okay we don't know that but uh, my bias for now are down as long the market is trading below these latest highs okay but even if we'll see a surprise here and a push higher uh, I will still switch back to the daily chart and focus on this wave count where nothing will change okay I will still um, be uh, on a wait mode, mode and be ready for a impulsive reversal okay uh, and now let's take a look also on this weekly chart uh, where I'm observing a huge head and shoulders pattern this was a left shoulder head and now a right shoulder you can see that we have tested this parallel trend line of this neckline uh, first time here and now we are again at this zone okay so uh, I don't see any reason why we should turn bullish here in fact I see, still see very nice patterns that suggest that bears could start uh, very soon okay but of course we need um, some price action confirming price action from the markets to make sure that we are headed lower so for now we are still just observing um, this wave count of course we could also be wrong if the market will just continue higher here we're back uh, towards these uh, yearly highs then of course I will uh, have to look for different possibilities and in such case I will be looking uh, at this wave count which suggests that we had uh, that we had a triangle running triangle here in wave B in wave B that we are now headed higher in wave C okay of this wave E pullback so in such case um, on the this weekly chart I will be just looking for a more uh, complex wave E in wave B but the larger picture will still suggest that the euro dollar will sooner or later break to the downside okay uh, so for now as I said we anticipate a new sell-off but we are waiting on larger impulsive uh, decline to confirm that wave 2 has accomplished okay and now let's take a look also on dollar Swiss we said um, on dollar swiss primary wave count um, 
actually let me check this monthly chart uh, you can see here that we have a uh, five waves of decline with a triangle in wave four so this was wave five we know that move after a tri triangle are final and these moves will complete the larger pattern the larger sequence so i think this was a final move final piece of this decline and the dollar swiss is now in a temporary recovery so here on the weekly chart we can also see a nice five waves to the upside which was wave A and since then we can see that market is trading sideways the sideways price action, choppy price action, overlapping price action um, is characteristics of a contra-trend movement okay? this is just pose within the larger trend while impulses, sharp moves show you the direction of a trend like in our case here so I think that the next move here will be to the upside okay? In our case, this will be a wave C, uh, and this could um, start very soon because I'm tracking here final stages in wave B triangle. On a daily chart, uh, I can see here free wave retracement in wave E, maybe already finished here, uh, but on dollar Swiss four hour chart, we still do not have enough data to make sure that <coughs> this wave E low has formed. As you know, for a confirmed reversal, uh, on this larger time frame you of course need larger impulsive five waves of recovery for now that's still not the case but it's interesting I think that uh, here we have uh, some nice <coughs> minor reversal in impulsive fashion and I also can see a free wave retracement okay so it seems that we have a third leg up in the cards but I'm not sure if this will be a wave C or wave 3 but I expect to see a test of this upper um, trend line of this channel okay and now let's take a look on dollar yen um, on dollar yen uh, monthly chart as you know we are bullish we are tracking huge um, flat correction in wave B flat correction is a 335 pattern okay it's a free wave movement in wave A free wave move uh, in wave B and then um, you expect a 5 wave rally in wave C so I suspect that we are in this part because here I can see free wave move then free wave move with ending diagonal in wave C of wave B so if this market is forming a flat then we are headed higher here in wave C in 5 waves I'm tracking the first wave within wave C here on a daily chart uh, we are now uh, consolidating in fourth wave here this is wave 1, wave 2 and extended wave 3 our fourth wave uh, appears to be a triangle as you know uh, it's already been a few weeks back since I mentioned this triangle idea um, and last week we were looking for a push higher here uh, within wave D because on the 4 hour chart if you recall we identified this as a 5 wave rally in wave A and a 3 wave retracement in wave B so obviously B, uh, bias was to the upside while the market was trading above this swing high because we know that any corrective reversal must not retrace more than 100% of a previous against the previous 5 wave move Okay, so we were looking for this wave C higher it unfolded very nicely but now we need to be aware that um, of a larger picture of this daily chart that we are still only in wave D so we need a wave E pullback before this market can really break to the upside okay so I think it's still too soon to look straight up here uh, also uh, notice that we are at this trend line resistance of this pattern connected from the highs um, also we are now approaching the 61.8% um, retracement compared to this wave C lag from here okay uh, this wave C and also there's um, wave A to wave C uh, equality okay uh, comes in around uh, let's say just below 100 level okay so I think that's a very important region um, I expect one more push higher here and then be aware of a reversal into another three waves Free, wa free wave movement but this will be then a wave E final lag in a fourth wave triangle so I want to see this uh, pullback before uh, we may start tracking new larger impulsive qualities to the upside okay critical region 
uh, as seen on this 4 hour chart is here because we know that wave E must not retrace below uh, uh, below this wave C okay um, on this monthly chart technical chart I can clearly see that uh, market is in the uptrend and because of these spikes and now a very slow choppy price action I'm quite confident that this is just a corrective pose with an ongoing uptrend okay um, and now let's take a look also on gold uh, on gold uh, daily chart uh, we identified end of a five wave movement uh, a few weeks back because um, of this broken uh, upper trend line of this downward channel okay uh, and then we mentioned that even if the market is just in a corrective movement in a corrective pullback we still need free legs because corrections are always structured minimum by free legs so if you're tracking a zigzag then you would expect an ABC move okay so in our case we were looking for a third leg down we identified this pullback as a corrective temporary movement which also found a support very close to this falling uh, channel which where trend line became a support okay and you can see that since then market is trading very nicely higher uh, we are trading impulsively here but we are in a third leg of recovery well it's interesting that at the moment we don't know uh, if this move is only an ABC move like a zigzag and that market will continue to the downside or is this maybe already start of a new five wave impulsive structure okay maybe we are already in this red wave free we don't know that we are at very important levels and we need to wait on the market we need to wait on more price action to confirm further direction this third leg was very easy to predict but the next leg it's it's not so easy okay um, but of course it's always better to, st to stay with the sentiment so for now I will be looking for more upside maybe uh, just in wave C or maybe in wave 3 that's not important because the market is trading uh, to the upside okay but uh, from an Elliott wave perspective from the guidelines um, I need you to focus on this upward channel okay if the market is trading in a corrective formation here let's say a zigzag then you would expect that this free wave move will be finished at the upper trend line parallel trend line of the corrective channel which means that you expect a wave C reversal a wave C top from this uh, upper trend line and then a reversal <coughs> sorry through the lower trend line of a corrective channel this breakout would then be your confirmation that this was a only corrective recovery and that market is trading to the downside will be headed lower which means in our case if we will see a reversal from this upper trend line in impulsive fashion and a daily close below this rising support line of this channel then we will turn bearish and in such case I would be looking for uh, this wave count where I <coughs> see room for another push down in wave C okay so this was one possibility what about the other one well as I said one possibility is that market is already trading impulsively maybe we are already in wave 3 but how will I know if the market is trading in wave 3 and not wave C well uh, <clears throat> I will focus on guidelines in wave 3 the price action is typically the strongest okay it means the volume and the momentum are increasing the moves are very sharp much sharper than in the first leg in wave one so if we are here in wave one this was a wave B, uh, wave two pullback then if you expect a wave three price action which is typically the strongest wave then you would expect a decisive break through this upper parallel trend line of this channel in our case this means this trend line okay so if we will see a continuation from here 
you can very sharp in impulsive fashion and we will see maybe uh, push back towards previous swings here then I will be very confident that we are in wave 3 and not wave C because remember earlier I said that if the pullback is only corrective then you would expect a reversal if this was a wave C from this upper trend line upper trend line in that case would react as a resistance if this trend line will not react as a resistance then you can expect or suspect that we are already trading impulsively in wave 3 of a new 5 wave recovery okay so for now I don't know where we are uh, I cannot say yes we are going straight up into wave 3 because I don't have enough data to confirm this uh, scenario okay and I don't I also I don't have enough data to confirm uh, the idea that we are ha uh, going back to the lows okay otherwise I would maybe already looking for shorts but it's still too soon because in such case I need some evidence that we are headed lower I need an impulsive break to the downside if we are in a way free then I need aggressive bullish move okay in either case we um, need to respect the market we need to wait on more data and we need to respect this uh, previous resistance levels which can easily react uh, as a reversal point okay so stay aside for now wait on more price data of, or focus on the intraday setups and uh, try to pick the good entry there on the smaller time frames for smaller moves but here from a larger perspective we are at very very important zone okay okay traders um, that's it for now and i will catch you with the further updates on the intraday updates page have a good day